In the 1930s and 1940s, physical training and acrobatics for men enjoyed a surge in popularity. These decades were marked by a growing emphasis on physical fitness and athleticism, as people sought to improve their health and prepare for the physical demands of wartime. One of the main factors driving the popularity of physical training and acrobatics during this period was the rise of mass media. Movies, magazines, and radio programs featured athletic and muscular male actors and performers, inspiring many young men to aspire to a similar physique and level of fitness. Popular stars of the time, such as Johnny Weismuller, who played Tarzan in several films, and Gene Kelly, who popularized a unique style of acrobatic dancing in films. In addition to the influence of mass media, physical training and acrobatics in the 1930s and 1940s were also shaped by the growing demands of military training. As war loomed on the horizon, many men began to prepare for the possibility of military service by focusing on physical fitness and developing skills that would be useful in combat. This led to a surge in interest in activities such as calisthenics, gymnastics, and martial arts, as well as more traditional forms of exercise such as running, weightlifting, and swimming. The popularity of physical training and acrobatics during this period was not limited to Hollywood actors and military trainees, however. Many everyday men also took up these activities as a way to improve their health and fitness. Local gyms, YMCAs, and community centers offered classes in a variety of physical activities, and interest in these programs continued to grow throughout the 1930s and 1940s. The popularity of physical training and acrobatics for men in the 1930s and 1940s had a lasting impact on American culture, and helped to shape attitudes towards fitness and athleticism that continue to this day. While the specific activities and training methods may have evolved over time, the focus on physical fitness and the pursuit of a strong, healthy body remains a central aspect of American culture. Physical culture is a movement that promotes the importance of physical fitness and healthy living. It has been present in Western society for centuries, but experienced a significant surge in popularity during the 1930s and 1940s. This was a time when physical fitness and athleticism became more widely valued, and men in particular were encouraged to strive for a muscular, toned physique. One of the factors that contributed to the rise of physical culture during this period was the growing awareness of the importance of health and fitness. Many people were becoming more aware of the risks associated with sedentary lifestyles and poor nutrition, and were looking for ways to improve their physical well-being. Physical culture provided a framework for doing just that, emphasizing the importance of exercise, proper nutrition, and healthy habits. Another factor that helped to fuel the popularity of physical culture in the 1930s and 1940s was the influence of mass media. Movies, magazines, and radio programs featuring athletic and muscular male actors and performers helped to inspire many men to aspire to a similar physique and level of fitness. Magazines such as Strength and Health and Physical Culture featured articles and images promoting the benefits of physical fitness and helped to spread the word about the importance of healthy living. The rise of physical culture in the 1930s and 1940s was also linked to the growing demands of military training. As war loomed on the horizon, many men began to prepare for the possibility of military service by focusing on physical fitness and developing skills that would be useful in combat. This led to a surge in interest in activities such as calisthenics, gymnastics, and martial arts, as well as more traditional forms of exercise such as running, weightlifting, and swimming. Physical culture had a lasting impact on Western society and helped to shape attitudes towards fitness and athleticism that continue to this day. It helped to establish the importance of physical fitness as a core value, and encouraged men to strive for a strong, healthy body as a symbol of strength and vitality. Today, the legacy of physical culture can be seen in the ongoing emphasis on physical fitness and healthy living, as well as the continued fascination with the muscular, athletic male form.
Count Basie, the orchestra. Lullaby of Birdland. Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Thank <laughs> you.